Hi, my name is Jason McDonald, director of the JM Internet Group. In this video, I'm going to explain how to search Facebook in two ways. One, how to search Facebook directly on Facebook. And two, I'm going to touch on using the site colon command to use Google to search Facebook. The point being, we want to use Facebook or Google to find Facebook pages that we're going to emulate by inventorying their page setup, their profile picture, etc., as well as their posting strategy. So you got to learn how to search Facebook to find companies that you can emulate. Let's get started. Welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to search Facebook for social media marketing purposes. Now, you can also use it for fun too. You can use it to find that ex-girlfriend or boyfriend or some trending topic, et cetera. But I'm really using it for a social media purpose. The main purpose being, hey, I wanna find companies that are similar to mine that are doing a good job or companies I can kind of bounce ideas off of. So me and my team, uh, my team and I, are going to go, you know, look at some Facebook pages and we want to inventory what do we like, what don't we like. So the first step is you gotta find them. So how do you find them? And I'm gonna show you how to search Facebook directly. So I'm going to assume that uh, you have uh, got a Facebook uh, page here. Uh, you've set up your Facebook, and I'm going to log in. You don't need a, a Facebook page. You at least need a profile. So you as an individual have to have a profile in order to be able to search Facebook directly. Okay, so you're going to log into Facebook. And then, as I always say, you've got to know your keywords. You've got to know your keywords. Uh, so I'm going to click onto Facebook, and again, the best way to do it is to put in some of your keywords. So let's put in organic food, and here's where it's a bit stupid, right? So you're gonna put in your keyword on Facebook up here, and ignore all this stuff, and go down here, see all results for that topic, okay? So now I'm gonna click see all results for that topic, organic food, and then I'm gonna click pages. Okay, so it's a little bit weird. You have to go to the bottom. So let's go back to see that again. So you're going to put in here whatever you're concerned about. You know, let's say you're a nonprofit and you're concerned about global warming. So you're going to put in maybe quote, global warming quote. You're going to go to the bottom, see our results for global warming. Then you're going to click pages. And then you're going to go try to find different uh, stuff out there on uh, global warming and interest in websites and things like that. And then you know, here's the global warming times, right? So this is some little magazine or something about it. Okay. Now most of us are going to be a little bit more, you know, accounting, you know, some more practical sort of use. We're going to go to pages and then we're going to find them and we're going to go see, hmm, you know, who's accounting and we can see what's, you know, what's kind of out here. Here's accounting education. They're a nonprofit. And then, uh, you know, my team and I, you know, do we like their profile picture? Do we like their cover photo? What are they uh, posting? That's our inventory. So I'm just showing you how to search Facebook. So it's really simple. Go to Facebook, type in whatever you're interested in, you know, baby food or something. And then, you know, Pages is generally what you're going to look at. You can also use it to find groups. If there are any groups on baby food, there are. Maybe there are baby foods. There's foodie love. Uh, and then, you know, places, videos, whatever. Most of us are going to look for pages or groups, right? Then once you find something, so let's maybe try to choose something I'm more interested in than baby food. So let's use cooking and pages. And then let's say I find something I'm interested in. So cooking light. You know, this is sort of a magazine. I guess I probably are like them, right? Or or something like that. I don't want to go to Lynn McClaskey. I want to go to Cooking Light. So let's go to Cooking Tips and Techniques. And then I'm going to click Like once I find a page that I like, right? So I like this one. So I've got to click Like up here. They move that around. So I'm going to click Like. So now I've liked it, right? And that's fine. And it's done. Now, once you've liked a bunch of pages, go back to your Facebook news feed. And on the left hand side, those are your pages feed. So now you're able to see pages that you like, you know, I like writing about writing, for instance, where they are. So that's hidden a little bit on the left-hand side. So that's your process. Go to Facebook, enter some keywords, go to the bottom, usually find pages. I have a link directly to it. Once you've got them uh, on there, then you can go directly into your pages feed. The other thing you can do is the site command on Google, which I've covered in another video, but you can basically go uh, to Google. Let's see if that's going to drill through. Maybe not. That's being bad. So I'll show you. So you go to Google and you put in site colon no space facebook.com. So site colon facebook.com no space. And then your keywords quote organic food whatever. And this is another way. So you can use Google to do it 
or you can go Facebook, quote, organic food, go to the bottom. You know, you simply have to go to the bottom if it's not being nice, go to pages, and then now you've got pages. So two ways uh, to get there. So that uh, in some, how do you search Facebook for keywords for people for whatever, and then also using Google uh, to search Facebook as well. Thank you so much for watching and of course subscribe to our channel.